Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. You know, I, you know when I started doing this, I did not. Like, I knew it was, I do it portable. I bring this shit places. Mm-hmm. But I don't imagine ending up doing this shit in the most of the places I do. Like, cars were one thing. And now we're in a fucking the back hall of a Polish hall, a <laughs> Polish club, while people play cornhole through a curtain we're doing, while drunks in the other room listen to. Who's up right now at an open mic? Well, that's that's D-Rums, D-Rums right now. Up, yeah. You just heard him say racist to everybody. <laughs> that's where the podcast is today, guys, and that's where I am. It's not the best, but that's that's what you have to do sometimes when you're fucking on the road. And you're you're grinding. Yeah. I want to kill myself <laughs> saying this. Right yeah. <laughs> it's, part of, still it's part of the grind, dude. We'll do stand up anywhere. All I need is a mic and a fucking a, a person sitting in front of me, and that's all. I, I do stand up. I'm a professional. I'll do it that's in the beautiful. park, dude. I'm gonna kill myself. I, I enjoy it. You're in good company. <laughs> yeah. They might have stopped oh, me on man. October 4th, but, you know. Oh, stop going. You, no no one knows that reference, no right? Podcast, <laughs> <so>. Hey! <laughs> they do. They do. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to my show. <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> oh, you just got me mad. Oh, uh, guys. I'm hyping you up for the show. Welcome to, you know what you're at, dude. It's fucking Yes Offense with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's with me, your host, Alex Tomaselli, and I'm fucking, I'm at it again with repeat guests. And they're good guests, though. They're ones everyone loves. When do my friends who do listen say, get that guy back on again. <laughs> now we got fucking a fan favorite, Mike Massaro. How's it going? Other, you're like second to you're most on the podcast, next to Cliff, probably. Hell yeah. That. Happy to be w- here. That closeted homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and then I'm we got an out homosexual. And we got another <laughs> repeat. Uh, uh, like You're like fourth or fifth, I'd say, is like Chris Warren. Yeah. I'm just saying on appearances. No, I like it. Dude. Mike's the, the fan favorite. Repeat <laughs> yeah. guest, handsome. Fourth and then it's like, hey, the Chris showed Chris, up. You know, Butter mustache. He's, he's I had a better guest. He fell through. Uh, <laughs> I know Chris isn't doing anything, so I, have, I texted him. I actually I texted Mo Musa to do this. <laughs> I asked if he watched the new Cowboy Bebop. He didn't even respond to me. <laughs> Maybe really sad. Uh, he's wow. black. And that's how we're. But that's, he's that's on the crazy, list because I talked to him for an hour on the phone today. That's so. well, that's because you both are, you know. And I got news for you. <laughs> that means you're gay. That's what I have to say to both of you. You can call him up right now and tell him I said that. Okay. You want to plug the phone in? No, no, no I don't okay. want to bother a real comic. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's it. Just says what you think about yourself. I was talking about you. No, I'm, I'm saying I know how insecure you are. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not into. I'm very aware of uh, where, where my life has gone. Just all right. Being a, being aware and not taking action is also. You know. I've accepted my fate. <laughs> just like watching a train. Yeah, I just like look at the train and it keeps diverting down the other track. I'm yeah. like, which track do I have to be on to get hit by this fucking train? Now I got to get hit by the twelve thirty. I thought you were on a train that's like just going off the tracks into some guy's ass. <laughs> so you, thought, you thought it was going it's somewhere called else. the Homo Express. <laughs> like the All Polar aboard. Express. The Polar Express porn cut. It's just oh well, no, it's Tom Hanks, but then there's just boys on. The <laughs> <laughs> you heard, dude? Anything I, can happen. On I was the polar talking Express. to this dude. Was, the polar I was, <laughs> dude, like, I was talking to this wild chick. I don't even remember. Just a, while, a little while ago, like about conspiracy theories at the bar, and she loved the Tom Hanks one. She's like, it's so funny. He moved to Greece. <laughs> right when they made pedophilia legal there. I'm like, what? <laughs> and she's like, look it up. <laughs> Did you propose to this girl on the uh, spot? Dude, not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it, so solid interaction right up until she's like, I'm sort of seeing this guy, but I think he has a girlfriend, but he might be going to prison soon. So, you know, I might never see him again. And I was like, oh, red flag. <laughs> it's just down the fucking. <laughs> and yeah, 
I did try to kiss her later. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking savage, dude. Get... Anyway. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to, you know. Damn. <laughs> sluts. And the people you can hear in the background playing cornhole. You know, whoever named that game knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> right. My question is, was the game named first, and that's why they refer to it as cornholing, or was it vice versa? It's, it's, no, it's mm. vice versa. Some college bro made that. I was like, cornhole, bro, it's like you get fucked in your ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get fucked in your ass. Well, that's like this game. <laughs> and that's, just, that's how the game was created. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think there's, like, farmers in the 19th century playing cornhole in their fields. You they know? might have I think been. it's just, like... Think so? I, I mean, maybe the original. <laughs> the original. Yeah. The original <laughs> hey, Cletus, come check this out, boy. <laughs> just, what up, Pa? They just his brothers held him down and <laughs> kite runner him is, in a yeah, field. Dude. This is a highbrow podcast. Mm, it is, that. dude. Hot takes on Rib, news. Ripped for <laughs> your rape. <laughs> <laughs> you just ripped. got that, Chris. Chris's eyes like clicked when I said that. We're like, oh. I was just thinking about the time I was molested. And the, you know. Hey, that's not my fault. All right, I, I, I didn't know that happened, and I'm not gonna pull back on this. <laughs> <laughs> At least he used a condom. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> I'm going to picture that he did. <laughs> I'm gonna when I think about it later. <laughs> when I want to think about it. When I jerk off to this thought like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, guys, how, how's life, guys? Last time I saw both of you. <laughs> Neither of you in a great play. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Chris is like, shut up, dude. <laughs> I told you that confidence, bro. God. No. Guys, it's, um, it's Christmas time. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? There's Christmas God, lights all over the pull, place. Pull, this is why Hitler. You, I, <laughs> like, I, yeah. <laughs> like I'm Polish, and I'm right now. I'm like, you know. Are you, Sally? Yeah, I am. Fifty percent. I gotta get at it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. What's wrong with uh, you know? The, you I don't know why they think next why, to each other. Why are they dumb? Like, why do they think we're dumb? Because they are. Look at look at the IQ testing data. <laughs> it's like like the highest IQ in all of Poland is like a ninety seven. <laughs> Forrest Gump was an eighty five. So that gives you. A <laughs> Yo, he was a fucking. <laughs> that dude did work. All right, he might He's have a been Polish smart. icon. <laughs> He's a Polish icon. Like he Don't just you... run. Look what you can do. <laughs> Become professional plumber. Adidas. <laughs> One day I move to London, I become a plumber. It's going to be great. <laughs> no. <laughs> you disrespect my people. Who are you? Fucking Swedish? Uh, German? Y- other side. <laughs> other side. <laughs> what, what are you? I'm Israeli, dude. We, can't, we don't want to get into this conversation. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a dangerous subject for you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Sorry before that. <laughs> <laughs> before 1947, what were you? <laughs> Owned. In exile <laughs> from the <laughs> promised land. That, you know, they really... It, it's really... De- that whole conversation is really how far back you want to go with somebody. <laughs> there, is no, there is no winning nothing. <laughs> There's You will sit back and go, you know what? Kind of looks like, uh, you know, I, I don't I, I don't know anyone over there. <laughs> I, I, that's what I do every time someone brings that up. I go, you know, I don't really know I'd, anyone over there. I'd like to there, take and, uh, this moment to show support for our brave <laughs> and women in the IDF. I don't need, see, I don't even so know what that means, we're man. we're sitting in this very room so listening to this conversation. This conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. See Those protesters had guns. That's all I'm saying. So. Even the kids. Even the kids. That yeah. newsroom. Even the majority of child deaths <laughs> yeah. had guns. Well, no, child that, casualties. That newsroom was, that had was guns. at the top of a hospital was definitely uh, <laughs> a <laughs> weapons depot. And we had to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> they were hiding Dude, it. Dude, I don't know any of your references, but I believe them. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous. Okay, let's keep going. That's yeah, let's get into some stuff then. <laughs> well, what stuff do you want to get into? This, he, the, the, you know, you I have did, to bring it up. <laughs> I did another loose format podcast recently. It was so much fun to be on the other side of like throwing shit out to talk about. It was great. I brought stuff to the table though too. You guys keep like going dead on me. What, <laughs> we're not going I literally dead. asked you if you want me to prepare anything. You're like, no, I have articles. We'll go over. I did I do that. Prepared. I did. I well, also, you wanted to talk it. Yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. I, apparently, <clears throat> uh, the 
this third hottest trial of the month. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, past, dude. You know, let's say 30 days. Not even months. Let's say 30 days is Smollett. Mm. Yep. Jussie. Jussie Smollett. Jussie Smollett. So here's what uh, and uh, Mike. Yeah, Mike texted me today and was like, I want you, you got to hear this. <laughs> I said, just save it for Is tonight. he the one that was a victim of a, a hate crime by QAnon? <sighs> uh, yeah, okay, there you go. So, yeah. So, 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 yeah, so that's the thing. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right now he's on trial for like basically having faked this attack and, and made a fake police report and everything about like two guys in MAGA hats beat me with a subway sandwich and like whatever <laughs> like hey i don't even know if that's like a thing that he said or that was subway. something i don't know but like i don't know <laughs> shit either way guys you guys be really intense about this hate crime yeah let's show some maturity on air please so so he's on trial for this right now and he testified two days ago yeah and here's what he said <clears throat> i'm just gonna read the headline Jussie Smollett testifies attack was, quote, no hoax as actor reveals doing drugs and masturbating at bathhouse <laughs> with one of the Nigerian brothers who beat him up. Yes. <laughs> Claims he paid siblings $3,500 for health supplements. Hold on. What is a Nigerian bathhouse? <laughs> I've heard of like a Korean spa or like a, a men's club or YMCA. Well, what's, what's a Nigerian you come bathhouse? Here. You come uh, here, you take a steam, <laughs> and then you call and you scam people. <laughs> You jerk off <laughs> in the drain. <laughs> you jerk off in the drain. It's just the, we the save bathroom at a call it. center. <laughs> <laughs> they just turn on the shower really hot. You, you come here and you pretend to be a prince. <laughs> <laughs> this is why every Nigerian is a prince for me. Yeah, I make like you feel just, uh, like a prince. You feel like a prince in the steam room. And you leave. No, I don't, I don't even. I, you know, I was gonna go somewhere with that, and I, I, I don't want to. It just. I'd like to take this moment to apologize on behalf of my friends. These blasts. Nice job pressing people. that button, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of your fake apology. I, I don't understand. You come to the bathhouse with Jussie Smollett, and you, you start doing faggot shit. You got to get out. You, you come get to out of the bathhouse right now. You tell me that didn't go down. They said that Nigerians. This, this is what the other guy Come in here, start <laughs> sucking cock in the back. Get him out. Oh, wait, get the machete. <laughs> are you kidding me? They would kill people, dude. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't look at me this like This isn't a visual medium. <laughs> So <laughs> you're making looks at me like Sorry, oh, I don't so. know what you're doing over there. You n- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, to go so, to the I'm sorry. Yeah, they're, they're, you're right. You're right. That they're, they're all culturally <laughs> hey, down no, with on, the on. queers. Ni- Nigerian uh, Americans have the highest uh, what is it proportion of them that have yeah, masters what? and graduate degrees. What? Um, than any other group in America by like a large margin. I, 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 you know. Very educated people. Wait, 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 wait more than any other there percentage still- wise, yes. Wow, damn. Yeah. I don't care. Do how they also have the highest rate of God jerking damn. off in bathhouses? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, yeah. the, the study's not out yet on that. I've been, I've been doing some research, some field uh, research. That's because they control academia. I, <laughs> that's, that's I go to college and I find out there are more than two genders. I say, you get the fuck out of here with that <laughs> shit. I will not stand it. You, I come in this class tomorrow. I swear to God. <laughs> Where do you think right this there. is, Uganda? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you gay? <laughs> you seen that yeah. clip? It's a good clip. It's I a good clip, gay. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. He, this is them. This is not me. Okay, this might yeah. be me, si- like s- doing the voice. <laughs> but Those are that is thoughts. that is not my thoughts. Those are just what I've heard. Quote Alex Tomaselli. This is them. It's what they do. <laughs> you know how they are. I want to name all it of them. Every single many, one. <laughs> I have too many titles that are. Uh, Questionable. Nigerian bathhouse. I think it'd be a good candidate. Jerked off in Nigeria. <laughs> that's tr- that's you know what, dude. Jesse no, no. is is wild because that's a crazy place. Like I could understand doing it in like a fucking Greek one, or like, just you go know? to like a gay club. Like yeah. there's places where there are gay men that will just have sex with you. Yeah. You don't have to go to a, a yeah. bathhouse in the seventies. Smollett yeah, contradicted right. those claims, saying he and oh, Abimbola oh. got a private room. <laughs> There what is it? What's his name? Abimbola. Oh, what? All right, Chris. What am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> we, I don't even know his name. I, come on. That was his name. name. It sounds like a, a proud name. It, it sounds like a strain from, of Ebola. Oh, no, 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 it's from no, the northern no, Igbo first region. Name. Uh, you, all right, th- nice. that sounds racist. No, what you just that's said. a oh, region of Nigeria. It is. 
Uh, Get cultured. Uh, things uh, fall apart by Chinua Achebe. Great book yeah. about the right, you people. Fucking... That's actually a great book. I, I read that in college. Yeah, it's oh, I read book. it in college. It's very, my... it's very sad. The man just has an idea of what the world should be. And by yep. the end, he just he hangs himself. Yeah, it was a great. Some girl who I didn't even school. talk to was smoking a joint outside. I heard her mention it, so I read it. Fucking losers. I had to read in high school. <laughs> I, t- I t- required I t- reading it. sophomore year. Yeah. What are you Do talking you... about, Sally? What 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 what's what magnet school did you go to? I'm sorry. What's his? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You went to Xavier. And I got news for you. <laughs> that means you get. That's all I have to say about that. Sally's just mad because the curriculum at Naugatuck Valley Community College <laughs> didn't, didn't cover. <laughs> Did Did you let me, let me say this. Let me say this too. You ever meet people? Th- th- anyone listening from Connecticut? I'm very scared for this. You ever meet people? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you'll agree with this. Oh, you ever meet people that. from not like the Naugatuck Vat whatever? And they're like, yeah, I'm from the Valley. And it's like, you can go fuck your mother when you <laughs> say that. Nobody outside of Naga anywhere who lives outside of there calls that shit the Valley. The Valley is a fucking neighbor, is a region of fucking California, if anything. That's true. It's not some bullshit. What are you, you, are you from Naga? You're giving me a look. I, so I know this is an audio <laughs> medium. Chris is giving me looks. I'm just staring off. Just thinking about how my family doesn't <laughs> talk to me anymore. And they're like, what's your problem with me, bro? Naugatuck is trash. It's not a valley. It's bullshit. And you, if you call it the valley, fuck you. Yo, shout out to Naugatuck, dude. Great people out there. You got a great Cumberland Farms out of oh, Naugatuck yeah. Valley. <laughs> That's a real, yeah. D- take a drive I to did, a Cumberland uh, yeah. farm. I, I did a summer course at Naugatuck Valley Community Cal- College. Yeah. Uh, shout out Warriors. Mm-hmm. And... Um, <laughs> I, I was uh, in a math cl- a remedial math class with a uh, Iraq war veteran who clearly had PTSD, and it was a fun time. His name was Jim. Uh, we would smoke weed after class, and he would he would tell me about all the missions that went wrong. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what was the bloodiest one? Uh, the bloodiest one. So he was a he was a tank operator. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. So he drove like an M1 Abrams, and apparently, well, he didn't drive. He was the the gunner tech. I don't want to miss. I don't want stolen valor, Jimmy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes. Apparently, I don't know if this is true because this is him telling me. So I'm not vouching for this story, but he told me that they were doing like a long day mission, like they've been on for like 48 hours nonstop on some push somewhere. And apparently, the tank operator, the driver, fell asleep at the wheel and <laughs> crashed into a building, and it fell on top of them. They were just trapped in the you tank know, for like two days. Jesus. Classic military hijinks. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, that building. doesn't sound that bad, man. I thought you had like friends that died. Yeah. And then he told me those stories. I was like, oh, I'm, I regret asking this. <laughs> I didn't want to know. My cousin's in the military, and I asked him like what it's like, and he's like, honestly, dude, everyone in it is a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take this moment to say, if you're in the armed services, <laughs> no, okay, here's the thing. If if you're commissioned, yeah. like if you went to college, and you're an officer, and had to read like uh, oh, one once more over the bridge, like in you know, all those classic West West Point novels. Good for you. If if you're enlisted, <laughs> you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> you are so dumb. Signed up to yeah. die for the Tell, American and, and you Empire. Know what? <laughs> Send your shit to my Instagram if you guys want. It's at Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram and it's at Silly Selly on Instagram. No all S's, no spaces. Check it out. Send me your hate about the military or. Send me your hate about us talking shit about the military. No, no, because they're going to be like, I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> they're gonna they say, didn't teach me this in basic caps. training. They're going to say your Y-O-U-R. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to bed at night, They're so just mad. Remember. They're itching their head at that one. I've the um, Almost every kid I went to high school with who joined the military, I kind of w- wish they never came back when they joined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, except for there's like a few, there's a few who I who I genuinely when I see if I see you out there and you and I, I'm nice to you when Dude. I see you I I like you. Well, hold on, but there's a few who I've known went and came back and I'm like, God damn it! Like why? You were such a piece of shit. Like why didn't you? And I, and I have a question. Okay, <laughs> could have been anybody else. I don't you care sound. how it sounds. Do you know the guys that join the Marines? <laughs> the guys that join the Marines, they make it their whole personalities. They're yeah. a Marine. Oh and yeah. They, they just yeah. like. Or, or get married. And their to wife like, cheats on them. And it's, she's always a fat white chick. It's always a fat chick. She cheats on them yeah. with not the same race as him. Well, I'm not going to co sign that one. That's getting a little. I'm just throwing you know, actually, I'd right like now. to take this moment to apologize to our troops. Um, I was doing a bit, it went a little too far, and I respect your this service. Is all a bit, yeah. Today can, is can the anniversary also... of. This whole show's a bit. Well, no, right? today, today, today's suck the my anniversary dick. of Pearl yeah. Harbor, and I'd like to just take a moment to remember. Um, you know, all the boys we lost on that hey, day. Hey, man, dude, listen. Rest uh, in peace. 
I'd also like to ask Japan for a public apology. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm it. waiting. I haven't seen it in my inbox anytime recently. No, so. they've been quietly deflecting. I think we sent a few uh, rebuttals their way <laughs> back in the day. Hey, why don't you guys pipe down? <laughs> 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 no, you anyway, know, RIP to our boys. Though, I thought about real. it again. I thought about it again. Yeah. Y- if you join the military, <laughs> like n- you have a Polish level IQ. Oh no! <laughs> you have like a Ooh. 95 max IQ. We're, we're, we're mad, gonna dude. remove this curtain later, and they're all just gonna <laughs> be standing like, there holding <laughs> bats and like, man, would you say you want to get cornhole? Dub you, you probably, whatever the fuck they say. You're probably a moron that joined, <laughs> joined the military, never got deployed, then came home, got addicted to heroin. Dude, the worst. The <laughs> I know a guy like that. He fucking sucks. Dude, the worst are the ones who are like, yeah, I'm in the military. And you're like, oh, like, it, like who are gung ho about it. I mean, gu- like, it's one thing if you're like, I'm in the military and you're like, where are you stationed? And they're like, Florida. That's one thing. But if they're like, yo, I'm fucking like mer- tattooed up gung ho and you're like oh where'd you go and they're like I'm in fucking Virginia bro yeah it's like calm yeah. down yeah. when they're like hey hey I'm a combat veteran it's like you were fixing Hummers in Ohio yeah, 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 for yeah, two yeah. years you didn't yeah. even do a full and four you know, years you know what's something about the military once. stop getting so uptight when we're like hey d- what's it like to kill someone I want to fucking know that's yeah. all anyone ever wants to fucking know <laughs> no, no, okay? the, the most boring the most boring <laughs> thing about it every Go day Real talk. <laughs> no the most boring thing is constantly you, you ask any of them most of them have haven't killed anyone. Yeah. Like 99.9% have done oh literally gun. were cooks. Yeah, yeah my gun Or like jammed. cooks or like at a desk <laughs> on a computer they, they like they filing a reports. I fixed helicopters. It's like, yeah. alright, so g- call your boy who flew one of those things and shot a missile into some kid's school. I want to know <laughs> what that shit was like. <laughs> I want to know how you sleep. What if you, you <laughs> sleep. I want to know if you're one of those people who didn't throw up. Alright, the first time <laughs> you saw it, if you felt good. I'm pretty sure you can look into their eyes and tell <laughs> I, that. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Never killed a person, <laughs> but seeing a person die. I've seen. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wait, how did you see someone die? Uh, I, got, so I, I, think I might have talked about someone. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, so Come I on. was at my freshman year at a university I will not mention, <laughs> mm. uh, and uh, <laughs> we were. He raped there. <laughs> No, I would, didn't have the upper body strength. <laughs> Jesus I would, I would, <laughs> I would, I would, still doesn't. I would try, and they'd be like, "Are you? What, what are, you, are you doing do? in my room? <laughs> go Stop home!" And I'd start tickling me, and then, I, and then I'd start crying. Go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I call my mom, like, "You couldn't just hold me down." Like, yeah, and my mom would be like, just, "Just do some push-ups, hun. Drink some creatine. You'll get it next time." Jesus Christ! She just starts sending you a care package with creatine in it, gloves, gloves, and. <laughs> Zip ties and shit. My son's gonna bring home a wife. Any- <laughs> anyway, all right, you son, if you gotta work the clitoris, if they <laughs> orgasm, it's not a rape. That's Jesus what my mother Christ. said to me. Have you ever heard that crazy argument? Like some women come with it. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Who get this? My, my favorite is the, the 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 body will not physically let you get pregnant if it's a <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh my God, dude. And I'm like hell yeah, Kentucky send her yeah, whatever or, your name yeah. is, or any Muslim country. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. I won't support our troops. But you draw a line in the sand. You stand on the other side. And you throw rocks at whoever's on the yeah. other side. I would like to take this moment to apologize to all our troops that have been raped. <laughs> you know, this is a bit. But Sometimes a bit goes too far, and I, I can admit when that's happened. It's oh. endemic. Apparently, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're going hard. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's almost like putting a woman uh, on a barracks with like a hundred testosterone dudes is not a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of dudes who couldn't get into college, mind you. Don't forget, this is not the best of the brightest. Yeah, so they definitely don't have that talk before, like the orientation, where it's like, let's talk about consent. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like a guy like. Hey guys, with the chair turned yeah. around, so he's sitting yeah. between his legs. Like, let's let's talk about consent. No means no. <laughs> These like, are the what same. The hell? Now you can rape the natives. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They don't matter. They can't speak English. They can't report oh, you. Oh fuck. But and let's be honest, it's happened to them anyways. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, we're yeah. going hard. On These this are the same <laughs> people that thought we could win by dropping like a helicopter with forty-seven thousand people into a rice paddy in Vietnam. So <laughs> <laughs> let's hey. not forget. <laughs> 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 Hey, we could have won Vietnam if those pussy liberals <laughs> hadn't gotten shot at Kent State. <laughs> learn, to a, learn to take a bullet, liberals. I know, dude. Mate, yo, hey, how about this? When you know, th- th- you know what, dude? <laughs> like those dudes in Kenosha found out. Those dudes at fucking that university found out. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
just saying, you see people with guns, maybe go the other way, okay? <laughs> don't walk up to and, them uh, and start poking at them. I don't know, can't stay, I'm fucking around. In around. Sally fashion, he is victim blaming, <laughs> as he always does. <laughs> yeah, dude. D- <laughs> <laughs> Damn, slut. Any time a girl says anything, any. <laughs> oh, hey, no. how you doing? Damn, slut. That's what I say. W- women are whores who are motivated by social climate. <laughs> women are just a collection of holes they're, that they're, like to get no, l- they're like loyal, secreted on. They're loyal stuff. until they see an opportunity <laughs> to advance their position. And it usually until, in- involves and, those holes. Yeah, until it hits 35, and then, it's, and then it's all over for them. <laughs> the, d- Dude, whoa, 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 Chris, the 30. 30 <laughs> max. That's max. That's like f- that's like 70 for men. Dude, <laughs> dude I can't Woo! wait. Damn. Slot. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean up at 35 when everyone has to settle, and I'm like, no one else is out there, babe. Dude, you're, you're, look, dude, you're looking dude, at it. We, last guy in dude, the bar. Last guy dude, in the bar. We, so how, we're, you're, how old are you? Oh, I, uh, 27. Okay, I don't know so why that was 27. such a hard I know, I was like, what, what are you, like, waiting for? I was like, do I make a joke? I have nothing. <laughs> so I have you're nothing. 27. 37? So <laughs> you are now, you're, en- so I'm sure, as you, you two, right? You're, like, 27? I'm 26. Okay, so you guys are entering the year now when everyone's going to start getting married. Yep. Yeah. And I'm 29, and it's already starting to happen. People are going to start getting divorced after that. <laughs> And then it's going to be just... Damn! Slut Dude. galore! Dude, oh, my God. It was so awkward. So for, like, we had a Friendsgiving a couple days before Thanksgiving with my high school friends. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> Stuffed animal collection. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. there's some people who feel morally obligated to invite me to stuff. Because yeah. they're like, things didn't work out for Chris. We, he used to be different before the head injury. Uh, <laughs> like the extra seat at the Passover table. No, exactly. But I went, and it was, like, yeah. my three friends, one who's a lawyer... One who's in med school and one who's like a systems engineer and their three fiancés and then me at the end of the table. I didn't know it was a formal event. So they're all in like button ups and cardigans and yeah. I show up basically dressed like yeah. in a flannel and a hoodie. Yeah. And I and I with my trucker hat on, I sit down and like, hey guys, and they're talking about like four one Ks and buying houses and stuff. And they're like, How's that uh comedy thing oh. going? And I'm like, It's it's fine. <laughs> it's you yeah, know, it's it's good. And they're like Think about going back to corporate America maybe anytime <laughs> soon. You used to wear a suit. Oh, I hate these people. I used to yeah. respect yeah. you. Dude, I've I, I've been in those situations, but I have to admit my stories are way cooler than their like, yeah, so I'm starting the T-91 program at work, <laughs> and we're going to invent the T-1000. It's going <laughs> to kill us all one day. Like, that's literally, they talk about that well, shit. No, literally. Because all my stories aren't, like, they or just. Or I climbed a mountain, they, and I got poison ivy. They just get upset in my by pussy. my stories. I represented I'm like, a huge piece of shit, and I got him off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. It's but. like, I remember this one, like, I would, like, any story I tell them, they're just disappointed in me for it. It's it's like yeah, I remember I did cocaine and almost got laid. And they're like, "What are you doing with yeah. your life?" <laughs> all all of my friends. You are twenty seven. Why wa- are you doing this? All my friends watch it around me because I'll just look. I'll 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 be like, listen, you you cheated on your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yo yo, shout out shout out to Ben. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Sally told me about it. I'm not gonna say it on air. We'll cut this. Don't worry, Ben. Ben, you're good. No. I would never do that to one of my boys. But no, just, just to be clear for anyone listening, one of Selly's or multiple of Selly's <laughs> friends with fiancés does cheat on his girlfriend regularly. So if you're listening, just, you know, yeah. check a phone every now and then. <laughs> read your read your partner's phone. It's a great exercise. It really builds trust. It, yeah, Pass it does. It along to it the does. relevant parties. It cannot yeah. go wrong. <laughs> anyway, dude, women are whores. So. No, they, they, I stand by that. Mm-hmm. I stand by that. No, guys, hold on. I had... Um, let's let's see if I got one one more one or two more. Okay, this I found. I just like the article. I didn't really read it, but um, we can read through it after if you want. It's from New York Post. Uh, yeah. It's got some broad, and it <laughs> says, "I don't, I don't know what the it, Mike is. What's is the New York Post? What do they do? New York Post is like like less." serious like new york newspaper it's like they do some tabloidy shit but okay, they so also have one, like legit news stories but it's like all over the place all right, so this one it all, all it says is i pooped myself on my date's floor he thought it was mud <laughs> that sounds like a 4chan post yeah. what the fuck <laughs> is, is that new york post <laughs> yeah ori- well it's also really originally published by the sun oh wow and i don't know what that is but the, the sun is a tabloid rag <laughs> like it's well, funny that's that, it's funny but that apparently a girl pooped on the floor. What would you Where? do, Chris? At, at a date's house. 
how attractive is this woman? You know, from her <laughs> looks, <laughs> uh, basic. Not, not, you know, she's a, she's see. a blonde chick. You know, you know, whatever. Who cares? Now she doesn't have a nose. Zero out of ten. Y- you're, <laughs> you're, see, you're a fucking weirdo. That's I am. Yeah. We you like schnozzes. This, yeah. I, yeah, I really, you know, Jewish I, women, Persian women. <laughs> I think that I'd probably embarrass her for it and then lord it over her to extort sex. I'd yeah. treat her like a demand. dog and just <laughs> smear her face in it. And be like, if you ever do that again, I'll fucking kill you. I would definitely make her clean it up naked. That's yeah. like something that would certainly happen. I'd say happen. you can call the cops. Tell them what happened. <laughs> just go ahead. Tell them what tell happened. Them. No one's going to believe. Sh- yeah, yeah. You this shit is starting to floor. sound like a rape case. It's like, yeah, you'll be shamed. It's you don't, horrible. You can't tell anyone about this. You ha- can't, yeah, go, who's going to believe you? Who's going to believe you? You're the one who shit on whore, my floor. Sh- you're the whore who shit on the floor. <laughs> now, it would be one of those things where, like, I'm not going to, babe, I'm not going to tell anyone about this. Don't worry, secret safe with me. And then in the group chat, like, Yo, Yo, right guys, away. this chick, yeah. Yeah. literally, <laughs> right, she gets on, at, yeah. uh, the door shuts and just, do, 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 do. Yeah. dude, you're not going to believe this yeah. shit. No, just literally. like 12 people yeah. immediately yeah. after. Writing the bit. I'm, like, yes. texting my mom, like, mom, you'll never dude, believe what that happened. It is wild. There's always in the world, like, and, 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 and I'm not like devolt, but like anyone who's like, I, yeah, I don't tell anyone. I, it's like I'll never tell anyone. It's always you, someone you tell like one person. I've told yeah. Mike all of my secrets and no one else. If any of my secrets get out, I'll know it's Mike and I'll kill us both. There is that too. You could always throw it. I'm never gonna. You know what, out. dude? Again, I appreciate that because I know you'll kill me. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking poles will shut the. Fuck you also up, know dude. all my secrets. That's true. <laughs> we have a mic- mutually assured destruction. Yeah, it's basically the Cuban Missile Crisis, but. With it succeeds, it yeah. could succeed. It, yeah, it could actually like succeed. Mike, if, how like, funny would that be if we arbitrarily we weren't even in a bad <laughs> for place? No reason. We weren't having a fight. It's like Mike, we're just gonna out each other on 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 Facebook, Instagram, everything, just all the secrets. Three, two, one, one go. go. Just go <laughs> press the. New I thought button. about doing that just to see where people stand. <laughs> Like me, I, I think I've, everyone would just hate <sighs> both of us as human beings after. They'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also think I, I, I feel like I could do that with someone as a joke, and then but everyone would just gravitate towards that person no matter who it was. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I genuinely think I fear that. So. I, see, I, I, don't think I, anyone, I know I'm alone, just but I don't want to know I'm alone. See, I don't think anyone it would change really anything because I don't think anyone would be surprised I've done the things I've done. They'd be like, huh. <laughs> Didn't know it went that far, but like yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I'd do it again. That's odd. I would I'd say do it these again. I stand I say by that everything to I've done. Most of the thing, yeah. yeah. Most I, of the things I would. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, mean, I would. I, not, I would. Not anything criminal. <laughs> I'm not anything like. I'm not saying I've done like evil shit. It's just like there's things where I'm like, like. All right, so for example, there's like I've looked back on my like high school and been like, <laughs> man, I was kind of a piece of shit at times. And then I'm like, you know what? So was everyone else. Like, where I went to high school, everyone's parent, like, every single person had a fucking, like, mental illness or whatever you want to call it. Like, had a fucking... Su- was on so you some went to a white high school. Yeah, I really yeah. it was yeah. fucking insane. And the way they everyone treated each other is is wild. Like, I'm surprised everyone who are, goes to our high school isn't in fucking, like, uh, like, relearning how to treat people, like, therapy or whatever, you know. <laughs> my high school was actually a very I don't know the word of idyllic it, place. Everyone was very, and I have no trauma from high school. Hmm. You just from your regular life? No, yeah, just going home to my drunk father, to be like, "You were queer," and I'm like, "The irony of this in five years." Well, <laughs> yeah, no, dude. I'm not. Fuck you, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay. You're gay, and then he throw a bottle at me. <laughs> hey, man, he. You know he. He, he, Hell yeah. he did, dude. He was right. All right, <laughs> he should have thrown a few more. Chris would have prevented been a lot of games. How, how come you didn't get cool from this? <laughs> <laughs> that's why your dad failed. No, see, this is the thing. I am cooler than I used to be. So that I believe is, that. See, that's how bad it was. I've, and I got news for you. That means you get. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. But yeah, your dad. Yeah, you. Because some people. They they go the other way where it's like they you know they rebel. You know? <laughs> no, my, my 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 rebellion was being straight. That was I'll show you, Dad. Allegedly. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. Thus far. Hey man, I have one point five women that will confirm on the second one. It, she's maybe on the fence about how that situation went, but the first one can confirm I am straight. <laughs> Dude, trust me. You'll, un- y- y- yeah. The second one's like, well, he did lose his erection pretty quick. Dude, I was so. about to say, have you ever like? Th- like had gone through like a few chicks and been like, wow, this 
something's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, my dick is not... And then you just discover you like women's personalities like a fucking queer. No, isn't that yep. the worst part? Yep. Dude, it's it, like, I you know, wish I was cool so enough dude, to have casual it is, sex. Dude, you know, I'm not. Well, I'm not no, cool enough. Not that I can't. It's just like, dude, it's so late. It's like my brain just had... The girl has to like like something I like. It, but like really like it like we have to have had a bond I just, over it. Yeah, I mean, she's like I like it's just it. not satisfying at all it, 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 it's just like it's like why am I just not I'm just masturbating into another person it's that's not even it. that it's just like you wow. d- yeah <laughs> I just had never thought about that way yeah it's kind of it's it something yeah, that's 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 you're both just jerking off like it's not even just the jerk it's the fact that like there it's almost like when you start doing it you're and you've like <laughs> You start like trying to get into it. You realize like, oh my god, there's nothing to like get into with this person. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You're like, oh fuck. Like, there's not even like when you look at each other. There's not like a oh we share interests. It's like ah fuck. I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> no, it's like you get all excited. It's like oh this woman wants to have sex. Be awesome, and then you're like. But, uh, yeah. but like it's it was cool for a second for the hype and now I'm like I don't want to. It's just catch and release fish. I don't respect you as a person. I don't want to do this. Yeah, unless she's like you know crazy, then you're like, all right, this could be fun. Well, yeah. that, like I said, I have to respect them as a they have yeah. to be mentally ill. Like if she's like put on a condom and then I'm already like God, <laughs> yeah, fuck. But if we're like really into it and she's like, you need to put on a condom, I can I can put on that. That's got to be really that's, into it. That's real love. So <laughs> that's yeah. being your gentleman, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm. Um, yeah. I wanted to like. Because then, what you do, no, what you do then, though, is then you you can't, not on purpose, but you're like, wow, this would you like, you're like, wow, this would feel way better without that, it. That and sounds then, pretty yeah. on purpose, Sally. I don't yeah. know. No, 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 no. What no, no, you no, do no, is way, you slide it off when they're not I, looking. No, 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 There's I'm not saying, a law against it here. No, yet. no. I'm <laughs> saying the way. You, it's only I, in UK. Don't do that in the I'm UK. I'm saying how in California. It, I'm saying how you present it, how it feels, not not. <laughs> Just being like, oops, <laughs> it just fell off. That's I didn't know it felt to. Actually, the first time that did happen to me, I genuinely was like, oh, this just feels really good. And just <laughs> it happened, and I was like, oh, it is in there. <laughs> it's like you ever had that happen? We're already there. So no, it's like well, like after you're you oh. and you're like, ah, oh, the condom fell off, and you're like, where? And then oh, you're looking yeah. for it, you can't find it anywhere, and you're like, well. <laughs> let's uh, uh, let's f- Watson. What else could it? Where else could it go? Like really though. <laughs> and Chris is over here. Like oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> it just might shock you. I haven't had uh, a lot of wild experiences. Dude, I've had that. That one was, I think, with the first. Yeah, that was like with the the girl I uh, lost my virginity with, and that Hell was yeah, dude. embarrassing. <laughs> Was that when you lost? That'd no, be not that, that time. was the first time. It was like third or fourth, though. And it was oh, very it was still embarrassing. Early on. Okay. Yeah. Trauma, traumatic for her, I'm sure. Just having to, you know. Oh yeah, that's it. Wait, 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 wait. So she Pull she fished it out alien. herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, I went. In, I was like, spread it, and I just went in there, <laughs> and I really, I was like, I'm gonna figure this out for you. I'm gonna fish it out for you. <laughs> Sounds like it might be a fun problem was like, to solve. Well, we can't, <laughs> That's all I'm you can't get it. pregnant in the ass. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude! No, I'm all slicked up here. I'm <laughs> just going. <laughs> I got some olive oil in the kitchen. It's basically lube. I'm not wearing a condom this time, because I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's already. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't cry over spilled cum, darling. Yo, I'm glad my mom is listening to this right now. <laughs> <laughs> is your mom even alive, dude? Wow, yeah, she is. She's delightful. <laughs> and now she's crying, so <laughs> I, she uh, she follows my Instagram. Oh, uh, she's probably what the fuck is this kid doing? And we'll go check out Chris Warren thirty seven. Everyone, it's weird. It's underscore thirty seven. It's, it's very yeah. odd. Yeah. I've I've shown people it. Who are like, <laughs> I remember I might you might have even been there, Mike. I might have just been stopping each where they were like, Chris isn't that weird. His Instagram is not that. And I was like, pull this shit up, and I just went through it like just four posts, and they were like, all right. Now no one ever needs to defend. I'm not that weird. Just say he's cool though. It's he's fine. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. It could be a, your Instagram could make sense, and it just you you choose to not let it. 
How so? You're like, cle- you've clearly never been to fucking Taiwan or wherever. It, it, it was in the span I, of a few right, days. You, you oh, geotag a ton of random places. Maybe you have Turkmenistan. Been. Yeah, I don't I'm know where sure you've been, but I'm just saying. There. I've been a lot of places. You pick places you where it's like the you, places yeah, I've been. You pick places where it's like you know you can't even go there technically. Where can't I go? Sorry. Azerbaijan. Some fucking yeah, some fucking Anymore. Muslim country where if they saw you, <laughs> no, they'd you, be like. You can go to Azerbaijan. You have to pay a thousand dollars a day for a tourist visa, and it goes right to the royal family. Why do you Shout know out that? to those people. I travel. He's, he's, he's on Wikipedia all fucking I'm day. worldly. <laughs> worldly. I'm worldly. I think you're an arms dealer. I just go fucking places weirdo. and women try to have sex with me. I'm like, I'm just not feeling a connection. And then I leave to go to the See, next place. All right, so this is place. other thing, too. I've also figured out it's like like how uh, the connection, It's it's mostly just like, do we like the same childhood cartoons? That is, that, I can't speak, speak for that for myself. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> that is pretty much it. I'm if just we like, can conversate about that for like 20 minutes. No, mine is like, do you? I'll look, lick your feet. Do you look? <laughs> do you look like my mom? And do you treat me like okay, my father? Okay, whoa. If all we right, do wrong. those two things, we d- got all right, this. D- don't. <sighs> that is gross. Yo, shouts out to my mom. Was a babe back in the day. <laughs> 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 Ew, check dude. out Chris Warren's mom. Yo, guys. check out my mom, dude. She's living life. You know the thing about my mom is She's I love my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I live. I love my mom, but like a, as a, I would not date my mother as a person. No, you would fuck her though. <laughs> no, right? yeah. never. All right, Sally's just gonna lie about fuck oh, yeah. fuck my mom. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's just I love my mom as my mom, but I would never. Like, d- just, yeah, no. <laughs> just never date my mom. No, I wouldn't date yeah. my mom either. I, I'd date my dad, though. <laughs> well, my mom's pretty, like, religious and conservative, so it's just, it's just not my what bag. What are you saying is your mom wouldn't put out in the first couple of days, <laughs> so you're like this fucking prude. <laughs> Damn! What? <laughs> Shout out to my mom. Mom rules. <laughs> <laughs> she's cool, dude. She, she's cool. Stuck up for me so many times. That's nice. Other times, not so much. And you but won't even is. fuck her, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you're a bad son. A and bad I got son. news for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> if you uh, won't fuck your mom, dude, dude, you might be gay. I'm a bad son. Bad That's the son. name of the podcast. Bad son. Bad son. The name of the podcast. <laughs> Jesus I ain't no fortunate son. <laughs> <laughs> My mom yeah. won't fuck me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I ain't no fortunate. I, I didn't, I'm not in the military, and I will not fuck my mom. <laughs> You're a bad American. Yeah, co- yeah, I'm a bad American, dude. I won't join the military, and you know what? When it comes down to it, I, I don't want to fuck my mom. I really, When I really think about it. I do love how going so, communist. so hard on the military early on is probably going to come back to haunt us. I doubt it. Nah. No, because they're too dumb to figure yeah, out they, Spotify. They don't yeah. care. Uh, what, what, sorry. I'm uh, still uh, using uh, Pandora because yeah, I yeah. like them. To sorry, I'm not going to be on me. that fucking faggot Jocko Wilnix thing and be like, <laughs> <laughs> you get up in the morning, you make your bed, and you make an honest man out of your Something day. You bad. just you go and you do it. You just go out into the world. What yeah. do you have to do? You got to go to Walmart. You make a list. You go to Walmart. You go up to that guy who's clearly illegal working there and you give them a salute and you move yeah. on and you then go you to the hardware ice. section <laughs> you ask the other illegal guy who's working there how do you get this and he goes no see senor I don't know something bad happened to you good your mom yeah, didn't yeah. want to fuck you good, good. <laughs> yeah accept it <laughs> we gotta get some action what's he say that weird shit I don't fuck with that dude he I've says never let's watched kill one some Muslims <laughs> <laughs> me and my buddies I used to have to accept responsibility and I'd be like I killed my I don't know no, he's, he's just like, I'm so glad we don't fight wars against people that look like us anymore. <laughs> Make it way harder in my dreams. <laughs> I look like somebody who fights the Ninja Turtles and then turns into one of them. <laughs> I hate mean? Jocko Wilnick, dude. I hate the way he looks. I hate that so many people like him. He's That's... a positive influence for a lot of very dumb people. Yeah. yeah. Dude, j- motivational speaking, if you, if you actually listen to that shit, it gets you excited. Like, don't have kids, ever. You Stop leaving the house. Yeah, just don't do <laughs> Stay it. Stay home How forever. About this? Uh, f- like, if you need some guy on the internet who's like, all you got to do is just walk out into the world and make a plan. And then it's like a picture of him, like, looking out onto a river. Like, that's the worst. Yeah, just, like, staring and, like, nodding and just, like, doing, like, a rap to you with no rhymes. Like, do you think Isaac Newton just 
You think he would have been under that tree if he was just sitting in your room all day? No, he got up, he went out to read a book, and that apple <laughs> fell on his head. Yo. And that's what's going to happen to you today. You're going to go, you're going to go down to your job, and you're going to try harder. And your boss is going to give you that promotion. Yo. You're going to ask for it. And you're like, what the fuck? Shout out to Isaac Newton. Yeah. Never lost his virginity, dude. That guy ruled. <laughs> that guy was asexual. He was like too smart. It's like not falling for one. these horse tricks. I'm Are you going to sit around all day? Or are you going to be like Kyle Rittenhouse and go defend <laughs> your business? Are you going to go down and defend your business? Are you going to take your what? AR-15, go across, not that far, across state lines? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to load up. You're going to go put out a fire. And if people approach you, you stand your ground. And that's what you do. Salute, written house. Go. You gotta be willing to kill for this. <laughs> you gotta be willing to kill for your life. If some man with a skateboard steps into your <laughs> steps into your circle, you let him know. Some kid skateboarding <laughs> down your cul-de-sac, you pop him. You pop him five, six times. You make sure he doesn't get up. Uh, he didn't do that. Dude. I let's know. Not, let's not twist the narrative. Mike, that's that's, right? that's not the Kyle Rittenhouse Kyle narrative. Rit- no, that's what I'm Kyle telling Kyle you Rittenhouse to do. literally you, took I'm off his shirt to reveal a swastika, yelled <laughs> the N-word, and then shot seven pregnant black women. I'm telling everybody listening <laughs> to this horrible. podcast right now to police oh. their neighborhoods violently if necessary. <laughs> that's exa- I'm inciting. Shout that's out exa- to the boy, too, dude. The boy. boy. It's, it's crazy how they didn't riot. It's, it must have been something to do with him being free. Who's that? <laughs> Hold on. Who, 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 who's <laughs> they? Who, is, who are you expecting to riot? The, you know. No, no, I don't know. Who? <laughs> the libs. Got the ya. The libs. Yeah. <laughs> Got ya. Sally's mouthing out, I think he's saying Nigerian. He might be saying another word. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't know. Why aren't we rioting? Oh, it was three white guys? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I would have helped if I knew. I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was two white, two white guys died. Yeah, and Three. one of them just got shot in the arm. Yeah, that one I really don't feel bad for. <laughs> no, he's he, pointing a gun at him. He really, uh, he really overplayed his hand. Guys, all I'm saying <laughs> is if we had had the troops down there, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Everyone yeah, would have been dead. <laughs> Everyone would have been perfect. dead. All the written houses and the pedophiles. We don't even need to bring the troops. We just need a cruise missile. We. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Guys, I know we're shitting on the troops a lot, (laughs) and I feel bad about that, because we also got to shit on the National Guard. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Can you imagine joining the army but not committing? Just, like, one (laughs) foot in one. You're doing weekends for, like, ten years. You just want to drink Bud Light on a ship outside (laughs) off of Virginia (laughs) Beach. (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. My mom was in the National Guard. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I wouldn't fuck your mom either now. (laughs) Honestly. Damn, dude. I get it now. One thing I could have I was left thinking, this podcast with. <laughs> I was thinking you were weird for not wanting to fuck your mom, but now I know she was it a all natty. Sense now. <laughs> it all makes sense. I'm sorry for your loss yeah. during peacetime. You're too. not a bad son at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're a good person. You should fuck your mom's sister. <laughs> 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 Ew, no, no, no. I I don't have any uh, legit aunts. Otherwise, oh, wait, yeah, you I would. No, Otherwise, I you my would. My dad has yeah. sisters. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you were <laughs> quick to remember. Aunts. You were quick to remember your dad's sister. You are <laughs> <laughs> like, now them, though. They <laughs> Ugh. They're Ugh. only half your DNA, so I'm it's less weird. <laughs> I stole a couple photo albums off the bookshelf. <laughs> uh, it's like, what? I thought Mike was about to confess to something. No. I feel like Sally's jerked off to a cousin. No. Ugh. No, thank you. Make eye contact and say it. No. Yeah, look at me, Sally. I've never <laughs> Sally jerked is, off to a cousin. Sally is wings are can't darting. Make eye contact. <laughs> He's literally unable. One to eye <laughs> just goes the other way, like Bo McDowell. I'm just kidding. Sorry. If you're Sally's cousin, and you laugh at this. that, Chris, and you want to. I don't you're know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, whatever. I like that guy. He just won't respond to my text about coming on the podcast. It's fine. Someone's Disrespect. a little bitter. It's fine. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I'll get I'll get an old lady to come on my podcast say the n word one day. <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> what the fuck It'll happen. That? We're gonna. It's yeah, gonna no, your mom after you, hey. you know, seduce her, <laughs> hey, dude. Mom, I know you won't fuck me, but at least say the n word on my podcast. Ma, say the n word. <laughs> Give me ma. some clout, mom. No, I would not. I would not get my mom doxed by some rando. <sighs> I'll say it. I fucking hate. <laughs> I hate these. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, these Polish. These Polish people don't shut the fuck up about their cornhole. Polish suck, dude. You scored a fucking cornhole. Good for you. Anyway, you guys got anything to plug? We're pretty much at the... When does this come out? So it should be out in the next few days, hopefully. So, uh... Hopefully. I'm, I'm if gonna, not next week. 
I'm going to be at the Rhino Comedy Club in Suffern, New York on the 18th. It's going to be a good show. I'll be a feature in there, so come on out. Come come join me. It'll be a good time. Good club. Um, on the 18th, if you don't want to go to Suffern, New York, you can come see me at the Elbow Room. I'm going to be on a show that uh, Pool Boy's putting on with the Gina, Okay, all right. First of all, Gina uh, don't, is plug in. don't plug that it's a Saturday. Man. You can plug your show. Do not plug that man as a show. I'm just saying it's You'll a show. You'll be there. Jesus. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> wow, Sally, that was <laughs> no, mean. No, I'm done. I, don't <laughs> I mean, I know I name. mentioned a real club. <laughs> no, no, the elbow room's fine. Eat a bag of dick, <laughs> Chris. I'm working with what I we'll have. tag up a show. <laughs> a piece of shit. We'll tag up a nonsense put-together show. I like you, Mike, but goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> also, you could follow my There's weird... There's a real headliner. My weird shout Instagram out at Chris Warren underscore thirty seven. It's mostly cats and suicide threats. It is. It is odd. You have anything else? Uh, yeah, Instagram? follow me on Instagram at Mike dot Masaro if you want to uh, see when I'm on fucking shows and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't post any creepy shit like that. Just me smoking and yelling at people. Uh, uh, later. Or? I. I have some shit, but I'll just put it on my Instagram. Oh, okay. Just check out my oh, Instagram. Awesome. Oh, what? and uh, my phone number, my personal <laughs> phone number is 203-297-4562. Uh, feel free to give me a call. My real that number is, is 203-297-4562. I get lonely I'm not past editing that 12 at all, so I don't care. That is yeah. 100% accurate. Yeah, wow. that's my real Holy number. Shit. Give me a call if you want to talk. You can text me. Maybe text me first. Let me know you're going to call. All right, guys. Uh, you know me, uh, at Silly Sally on Instagram. At yes, yes, offense official on Instagram. It's your number. <laughs> oh, no. Well, uh, if you want to call Mike, you can reach him. <laughs> it's my mom's number. Uh, no. at, anyway, at Silly Sally, at yes, offense official on Instagram. Uh, also, uh, fuck these guys. December 18th, Markville Market, baby. <laughs> Steve Vex, you know. Steve Vex, uh, Ma- Manny Sierra, uh, Paris Nichols, aka Impression Prince. Um, you know, it's going to be a fun one. And me. Come see the show, Parkville Market. If you want to double dip, maybe go see. No, you know what? No, don't go see Mike on that show. Jesus Christ! It's, you know what? Yeah. Any go see Mike on any other show but that show. All right. All right. Uh, uh, and you know what? The headliner, res- respect to her. Book. You know, get a better guy to book your show. Go, anyway, go see um, Sally's show. He doesn't book everyone, no. but that's okay. I don't. Oh. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a fun time. Book that's the, true. Yeah. I book <laughs> the real ones, Chris. You won't Only see the me at Parkville real Market ones. anytime soon. No, you guys will be there soon. Don't worry. Um, Can I get that in right? <laughs> no, you'll be. You know, I'm just coming. Kidding. It's coming. Um, Sally s- only books ex-military <laughs> at his show. Ex-military heroin addicts. That's the only people he books at market. <laughs> <laughs> only pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, and definitely not whores. <laughs> <laughs> Dap me Got up, him, Chris. Dude. Hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah, that's really subtle for the CT comics. <laughs> anyway, um, you guys can follow me there, uh, guys. Please. If you like the uh, uh, the podcast, let people know about it, and um, or just you know what, you know what, I take that back. I do book sluts, just not unfunny sluts. Boom. <laughs> anyway, again, again, damn sluts. Moving on. Anyway, guys, follow me if you like this shit. Let people know about it on Instagram, uh, whatever. Share it. Send it. Put a review up. Give me five stars. You can write the n word in the description. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I do not co-sign that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else. Guys, I'll have other shows uh, next throughout the month, and I'm sure in January, just nothing booked yet. If you want to, if anyone out there wants to book a comedy show and just wants to reach out, let me know. Show me the venue. We can set something up. And it's not that hard. It's really, <laughs> I'll bring these guys if you guys want them. If you've heard anyone on the podcast, you pick the fucking line up as long as you pay us. Anyway. Hell yeah. And it, it, you have to pay us for real. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> no more cat house tokens. <laughs> I need real money. That sounded racist. <laughs> what? No, a cat. Ha- it's it's a token that you give to a whore oh, in exchange for I sex. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I, like I will that. accept cat house tokens. <laughs> I will. If you think. want to book me anyway. Oh, I'll and uh, check out my other podcast, Pete and Sally Do the Cinema. It's just me and Pete Angelo talking about a movie we watched that week and review, you know, reviewing it and talking about other shit and movies. Yeah, yeah. TV. Uh, anything else, guys? You guys good? No, that's fun. This is fun. This is fun. Good to be back. I'm not saying, not shitting on anyone on my last podcast. Just the other ones. Some people just it's harder to riff with. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, have uh, have a good week and uh, you know happy Kwanzaa.